Well, good morning, everyone. It's Leanne from uh, Living in Your 60s. Now, the wording of that means that I was born in 1960. Um, and that I'm now in my 60s, early 60s, that is. I'm turning 62. And um, I thought that my channel would be living in the 60s. Now, we all know that great song from Skyhooks, Living in the 70s. Um, that was a brilliant song. Well, this one's Living in Your 60s. So, Living in the 60s, you may have been born. Or, which would mean you'd be in, you'd be 60. I'm 62 because I was born in 1960. And this channel's all about what do 60 year olds do? You know, what do we actually do after we have had our family? We've uh, almost retired. Well, I am. My um, other half is debating whether to retire, whether we want more money in our older age or whether we just want to relax. Who knows? But, you know, if you live to 85, it's a long time to just sit back and wait. <laughs> so um, what do we do in our 60s? Well, I know I do a bit of everything. I, I'm a, a cook, very... Um, I experiment with it, in other words, and I make really nice food to enjoy because um, I know my other half loves food um, and I have to limit him because he puts on weight now at his age. He was always, you know, a runt, very skinny, you know, um, knobbly knees type kid. And, uh, he was certainly turned into an adult like that, but he... Now, at his age, he's 67, he actually can't eat as much as he used to. Uh, not because of, not a want of trying, it's just that he puts on weight very easily now, which is a strange thing. I have to read up on that. But anyway, what do we do in our 60s? I, as I said, I am also a grandmother of one child. I have three sons, but it doesn't look like on that home front, two of my sons will not have children. I can just tell. A um, bit different from my day and our parents' day. Um, but what do we do? And I'm also uh, a babysitter. I babysit every day for my daughter-in-law at least, let's see, five five hours a day, uh, five days a week. Um, we used to have him spend the whole weekend with us for the first four years of his life. That's changed now that he's gone to preschool. Um, so we get him every day, but I couldn't handle the weekend of having him stay over as well. It just gets too much and you get nothing done in the house or, you know, anywhere. So like some 60-year-olds, uh, you know, you try and prepare to retire. Preparing means to pay off your mortgage, see how far your super will go, whether you can go on the age pension, um, are you going to grow your own vegetables, are you going to go solar to keep the, you know, the, the price hikes down so you can afford more in your retirement. Are you still going to work to drop dead? <laughs> I don't know. But there's many people out there that are um, doing this right now. Um, are you mobile? Uh, a lot of people, I'm not mobile, I'm wheelchair bound. I can walk with the aid of two sticks uh, for a short while. Um, and then I'm just totally, totally stuffed. So I do have to go into my electronic wheelchair battery operated. Um, none of that manual stuff. I mean, if you want to do things fast and you want to do a lot of things in a day, you need uh, a battery operated wheelchair because it just gives you more flexibility to manoeuvre around the place and 
be over there and be over there. But I warn you, if you're in an electronic wheelchair, it does cut up your house a bit, a fair bit. You need bigger doors, 920 doors. Um, I have 780 doors. It's a very tiny house, this one. I'm living in it's from 1975 and the doors are extremely narrow don't know what that's all about but um, I suppose that's what they built in those days smaller doors smaller smaller lower ce ceilings um, yeah it's, it's not a very high ceiling but anyway um, this is also fibro this house you know as long as you paint it, keep it clean. Um, don't don't do anything to it. It should be fine. Um, anyway, also I uh, not only babysit, cook. Um, I do a little bit of gardening, but this house is on stilts, um, so I can't get downstairs. They have internal stairs, and they're very steep, very dangerous, very slippery. Um, so I rarely go downstairs. I'm actually tied to these four walls and I virtually don't go out much. I don't drive. Um, that's not a negative. That's just the fact of life that I just don't drive anymore. I've had my license since I was 16, but it was taken away a few years ago um, because of my medical condition of being a diabetic. Um, and uh, other circumstances made it impossible for me to <clears throat> get my license back. Virtually, doctors hounded it out of me, which is crazy. When I've never had an accident, I don't have hypos, I don't black out. Um, so I don't know, it's just unfair. But that's what you, you know, are in your 60s about. Things crop up now that you're older. The other things I like to do is um, crafts. I've been doing that for quite a few years, most of my life actually. Um, crafts are a way of creating something and it really, you know, you get the itch for it. I've got to create something, something. I've got to make something. I have to have an interest in something. Um, and also I like to um, do outside. I direct my partner to do, I have so much I want to do that he's still working. So it's very difficult. He only gets the weekends really. Well, he's only working part-time, I should say, six hours a day. Five legally, but he does six to, because it's Christmas time and uh, he does one more hour a day on top of his, not overtime either, it's just the same hourly rate, so that's because he's classified as part-time, full-time part-time. And um, so I get him to do many, many things. Now just recently we had to replace the septic, excuse me. <coughs> Isn't that terrible when you sneeze? You know, I'm living on the Hawkesbury River and I have never ever seen so much water in all my life. I've only been here a year and the amount of sneezing that this area must have, pollens and things flying through the air, bugs, I don't know what they are. Um, it's probably coming from the clouds. Who knows when it rains? But the rain does bring around a lot of things. Now, so what are you doing in your 60s? Are you caravanning around Australia like my mother and father wanted desperately to do and they never did? Um, are you sitting on the beach somewhere, which a lot of you do? That are retired, self self-funded retirees. Are you um, sitting in a housing commission somewhere? Uh, um, I don't know what they call them these days. Are they housing commission? I don't know. Um, 
where, you know, you have limited money, so, you know, you're living cheaperly or cheaper than uh, someone who's got a bit more money. What's your circumstances with your health, your mobility? Um, what music do you love? Because we come from a great era, 60s. Ooh, the 70s are my era. Uh, all music from the 70s is, I love and adore. Every band I can think of, um, I play usually on YouTube. Just to, you know, be a bit more um, nostalgic about the time that I lived in and remembering things. I remember Elvis Presley had an album. I think it might have been 74 or... They brought one out in 1977 when he died. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up again. But uh, that album gives me such fond memories. Um, my mother used to have a lot of uh, fashion from the 40s, 50s and 60s. She used to have beautiful coats, beautiful dresses. She had a beautiful wedding dress. My sister has it now, I think. Um, and... I used to dress up and have this beautiful floral uh, dress from the 60s. It had a collar around it and then it was chiffon and it just flowed out with blue and white flowers. Ah, oh, I love that dress. I put it on. I come from the Elvis era, from the 60s and 70s. Um, it's probably a 60s dress and I would play on every Saturday morning hears music so loud on the record player that the neighbours used to say, Mum, not Mum, Jean, um, Leanne's at it again, can you tell her to turn that music down? <laughs> so, but I used to sing with the songs and I had a great voice in those days and, um, and that reminds me, singing, what inspirations do you have? or did have, and you've achieved, or you haven't achieved. Because when you're in your 60s, you reminisce about all that stuff, and you do go back to family, uh, incidences that have happened, if it was a bad, dysfunctional family you came from, or a great family, or something you remember. Um, for me, for instance, I come from a very dysfunctional family. Seven siblings I have. And we're all not speaking, not talking. I had a mother and father who, uh, father was very narcissistic. Mother was a very unloving person. Um, she was an only child and her mother abandoned her to her father when she was quite young. But they had their baggage that they brought to this, their relationship and bringing up their own children. Um, I've done the opposite to my parents. I overcompensate with love to my children um, and I provide any means possible for them to have a better life without stress because I wasn't afforded that. So, but you may have had a more different experience than me. So, um, ah, just by the way, I have this lipstick. Now, each week... I've committed myself for shopping, food shopping. I have to use a torch, I'm sorry. This lipstick is called Soft Silver Rose and it is a beautiful colour. Uh, I'm not sure whether it suits me, can you see? But it's Soft Silver rose and I think the price was ten dollars yeah ten dollars so I have committed myself to buy one each week it's Revlon this one and the brand comes from I think Coles pardon me Coles and um, it has a window there you can see your lipstick in the color and then it tells you on the end what it is but it's beautiful. I like it. I'll just look in the mirror. Yep, I still have my lippy on. Uh, excuse me, the pollen's 
here on the Hawkesbury, really stuffed my nose up. But anyway, this is my new channel, Living in the 60s, and I hope you can contribute in some way and come back uh, with my first project, whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm doing for that day. I do a lot of different things. Um, I'll post at least once a week, but I'm going to build that up. Now, I can't promise anything. I'm just going to slowly take it as it comes. So, thank you for joining me. Welcome to my new channel, Living in the 60s. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. So, please don't hesitate. You're always welcome to talk to me. Bye for now.